Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV Desk, we come with a new video. This video is very important. This video is on very important topic. This video is is for a software of for camera and this software is is, is a well known brand. It is a very big company named Dahua. Today we we, we going to show you DMSS for PC. In our channel, you get we will we, we already make a video on DMSS for PC, but that video was not uh, explained one or not, not a detailed one. On that video, we just show you how you download and configure it. But in this video, we will describe each and every option minutely. So keep watching and please like, share, and subscribe our channel. So let us start. So what you did? Just open Google and you should dmss for pc okay when you enter here you found a, a website named ccvdesk.com please open this website and here you find link for download okay mac and windows so click on windows will redirect you on a download page wait for a 10 second it will automatically go to download page and here you found click on this button find that smart pieces for PC or devices for PC is start downloading wait for a few minutes once it's complete we will show you a next part means how you install Now it is downloaded completely. Just click on this and click on show in folder. When you click on show in folder, just right click on this on the down downloaded folder and click to extract to. open the folder and again open the folder and here you find a .exe file or application file just right click on this file and click as run an administrator and click on yes click I have read and click on next click on next click on install and again wait for a minute once it is installed completely it will it will give you a pop-up message as you see when it is completed the successful message pop up on the screen click on run p smart pss and click on finish
when it is finished it will ask you the super password okay as you see i make a password for login and click on auto login so you so you don't need to log in put password again and again click on next and here you can choose the security question according to your choice for a demo i just put anything click on finish now it is login okay so first thing you should do just close this button and this is the interface of the software deals for pc okay so you what what you should do first just click on devices okay so here you can add delete modify device so as you see if you need to access the device and that device is connected out to your same network then you should click on the auto search and in and if you need, need to add device which is not your network or you need to add device using a serial number just click on this okay when you click on this it will ask for a two options ip domain and serial number so if you have a if you need to connect locally means you are in the same network then you should click ip or domain and if you if you want to add a device from a remote location you should click on sn okay so here you should enter your serial number so in my case i use my serial number so here i enter my serial number So I use my serial number. Sorry, you should enter serial number here, and you can do any any device like test device, whatever you want. Give any name according to your choice. Okay, and you should please note here you should be very careful. You should enter the username of the device means DVR, NVR, or IP camera. okay just just give your username of the device please note once okay and you should again you should enter the password of your device means ip camera dvr nvr or whatever you have and click on add when you click on add wait for a few minute if you have a proper internet connection at your remote locations it comes in a line within a minute so here you see my device come online okay so it will automatically detect my device device model number my device type and the ip domain serial number that i entered okay so in this way you can add device and please wait a wait for a minute it depend on the internet connection at the remote locations it means if you have a good 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 internet at your at your device it will add within a second just in in this video if you have a slow internet connection it will take time so please please wait for the here you can edit and here you find the setting when you click on this it will show you everything like software version and serial number whatever you have okay and just click on camera and click on network if you know if you want to know the tcp ip of your device just click wait click on this and wait for a few minute it will automatically give you a, a ip of of your device here you find your device ip address okay 
so in that case my and the it is here you find that default gateway this is the this is that ip address of your router okay so in this way you can find the ip address of your device again if you need to connect here you find your camera so in this way look here you find if you select the camera here you find your camera okay so in this way if you change the brightness or contrast or saturation of your camera you simply just click on plus minus this option if you look if i increase my camera then it will i will click on the 51 plus option it will automatically move to 51 and when i click on this negative this minus sign it will automatically send to 50 okay when you see that when i increase the contrast look the camera image start changing okay so click on this you click if you change the setting on night just click on this so again in this way you can change the camera according to day and night option and click on apply it will it will save according to your choice so in my case i have a already a default version so i i don't need to change i just click on the cancel okay And here you find the encoding parameter if you have a ip camera in this case this is the dvr and it is, it is that it's an analog camera if you have a ip camera it, this video is very this setting is very very important what you should do that you should change your device look this is very important if your device is have taking too much of hard space you should change the stream type according to your record setting for example the camera default is 1024 kbps you should change according to your choice okay and it is by default h.265 in many many you find h.262 264 option you can change according to your video type according to your type if it is h.264 your setup take too much of hard space okay and here you, you find the sub stream setting and you can change according to your choice and if you change anything here and you need to copy all the setting to the all the cameras just click on this and click on all and just save all the setting is changed all the settings save to all cameras okay so in my case my everything is fine I, it's okay so i just not click on apply i just click on cancels if you need to change just click on the change the thing and click on apply okay you find that every option here here you find event means all the abnormality means uh, whether uh, you you need alarm when your hard space is full whether you whether you, you you have a pop message when, when any camera offline so here it is you find that all the option is here so here you find every option like motion detection video loss click on the video loss so when your camera goes offline you have a you have a pop-up message so again when it, it, here you find a motion detection when anybody comes in front of the camera your device give you a message and here you find a camera masking here you, if you need anything that if you draw the anything and if anybody come in that area you need a, a pop-up message or a notification you will get it so in this way you change the setting of events okay here you find abnormality it means that whenever you have a uh, no storage device when you have no space in your hard disk when a storage device error i mean device become offline when you have a conflict mac conflict invalid access in all the thing you find enable and click on alarm output show message whatever you send email you get a beep and message you find according to that for example if somebody if your hard disk space is full 
okay and you click on notify device and click on show message and you have a pop up message if you click on send email you 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 have an email address you got an email from yeah, and you have a if you are click on message a message will came right now it is or it is selected in default but be for example whenever whenever there is no device no access no no hard disk you find a beep message and just click on apply for example i will click on this and click on message also and click on apply you find okay so in this way you find no space op option for example when you have no space when you click on enable and 0 to 99 percent when when you have 20 percent free available space when you have when you have this have 20 percent free space for example you if you have one terabyte hard disk and, and have 200 gb free if you have one tv hard disk and when you when 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 there is 200 gb space free and when at that time you give a beep or message for example if you find any error in the hard disk click on this again the same procedure whether it beep message always come according offline this this parameter is very important for example when somebody cuts your wire and when when you have when it's 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 when your camera goes offline by any um, by any means for example uh, if you have a bit if you have a loss power if you have a problem in poe switch and camera goes offline you just you just click on this alarm output and just and beep whatever you want just click on this to get a beep and ip an ip convert is very important parameter if you have if you inst installed an ip camera and you have a lot of other network devices for example you have too much pcs or network IP devices and you have installed IP camera in that case if you if you not change your camera series according uh, apart from your network other than your network then IP config problem came very frequent so in that case just click on enable and again click on whatever you want MAC config is very rare so you just leave it and invalid access is also very rare just leave it and, for, and please do not share your password to anyone so this is all device all about this so again click on devices so i will explain you this option setting options and here you find manually log out, log out and here you find delete okay close this again this option and just click on live view when you click on live view here you find all your camera just if you want uh, anything in this just click on this and click on channel minute it will show you a map it will show you the camera for example you need another camera here just click on this here in this way you find your camera okay for example you need to save this just click on this save you and just click the name one okay save to monitor you can save according if you click on this you will show the message also so just click on just leave it okay and click on this okay so here you find one here you find an option to save your live view for example if i need to close this live view and just again click on live view in this way you can find your camera live online okay just double click on the image and all the option is remain here for example if you need if you have a camera or even you need to talk just click on this if you need to if you if you save a recording on your on your desktop it will and you need to check you need to check a recording you should click here okay and lot many many more functions just right click on your camera screen and here you find all the things like start talk start record snapshot triple snapshot 
this start instant playback playback all the things here for example if you need to check the recording just click on this and we goes to the record options okay what you should do just click on this change your uh, recording or space according to that I mean for example you need to check the record on air just click on this start and end at here you find the time so you, you can change the time according to that and just click on ok and click on search ok so here you it, it, it will ask for a channel just click on the channel and click on searching so in the in this way you can search your record it will take time it, it depend on your internet speed and now in my case you, you find that all my recording of that particular date is comes in the comes and if you need to download just click on here and just and cut the device from here to here so start time is 2025-2023 and 4.50 to 550 it will download the video of recording of one hour and here you find click on export and when you click on export just click on start when you click on start you will find the things here okay in my case I have selected too much of recording for example a one hour so it will not shown so for for this i again just click on this and here you find that a very little okay just click on this in this way you can download or you can check your recording okay so again let's click on this and just close your live button again again i will show you how we, how this make just click on live view click on device click on the channel just double click on the channel change the cam camera and just click, right click on that here you find the playback and click on the playback it will go it will it will redirect to your to the playback page okay so again just just close the thing and this is the now, now goes to second option in the second option it will show you access okay just click on this this option is for the access control if you have a dahuga access control you should change you should change the setting or you, you should add the people whom you want to access the device whom you access the door lock in this way you just you you made different setting you made different at the part department you make a new user all the things come here okay change all the thing from here so just close this there is no need to discuss a lot about this and again it is you are asked for a video wall video wall is the option when you need a display different different camera to different different monitors or different different display screens so you should use that option here okay so in this way here you find TV all the things are empty just click on that click on the channel it will ask for please select a window so in this way just click on this and here you find video wall option so in this way you should when you click the multiple device to the uh, 
multiple monitor to the uh, to your device you just you need to select you need to select a different different cameras to different different devices you should click opening you you you, you change the things or you can create the TV wall options from here from this option okay so this is very important if you have a num more camera for example you have more than 100 cameras you need to display four four cameras on different different monitors you should you should use this option and as you know the events the event you can you can here you find uh, if, if you need to create a new event for example if somebody touch the camera or if you if a camera goes offline if your if your device recording is full all the option and you need a little extra you should click here you you find the things here okay so in this way you can change your you can create an event for the for your device again just close the event and here you find the attendance attendance is if you have a dahua attendance machine and all the things you should change here you can you can create a shift you can you can search the attendance according to the date time calendar for example all the thing you should change here you knew you knew if you need to create a new department if you need to create a new user and you need to upload a user to the device all the things you can do here if you need to see the attendance of all the how many were absent or present you can see from here so this is for attendance device so there is no need to discuss lot about this then close the option i just give you overview and this is very important function this is you find a uh, playback option here and playback important for, uh, option is very important because everybody knows to check your everybody knows how to check the recording using the device for pc so just click on this okay just click on this here and just click on the channel with whom you need to know the recording or you you find the recording just click on this okay just select the camera and here you found the record you intelligent card record whatever and in my in my in my opinion just select all the record and if you know whether you want to sub stream or main stream so in, definitely you need a master stream just click on this and here you need to obtain for example you need here you find that then how much recording do you have for example you have recording from first to ninth and you need to check on the six just click on six and here you find also click on six okay or you can change if you need a, a download you, you need to search entire day just click on the seven according to your choice okay so here you find that now change according to the for example here you need to just just click just change the time now here I can change the minute here it is set at 59 so I just 158 so that it, it won't take too much time okay now here again it is second just click on this okay fine now it, it will show you us or playback you give you playback of 6 5 20 23 23 58 38 up to 23 59 59 okay just click on this and here click on search to find this the things here you can just click on playback when you click on playback it will show you a playback okay 
and if you need to download just click on the download and if you need to smart search here you found the smart search okay let's stop the video and just click on this here you find export progress when you click on export it will take time and it will download it that particular file to your pc okay and if you need to hear the voice just enable this in this way you can check the recording of any camera okay so this this is very important part and is very important hope you all know if you hope you understand if you need to have any confusion please comment it me i will definitely give you answer just close this and here you find a people counting nowadays artificial intelligence is very common in the camera all the camera which comes with the ai feature and the people counting is very very important part it means if you know to count the number of people comes in in your premises and comes out in the premises it will show you automatically for this you need to install a separate ai people counting camera so that option is also comes with a smart pss just heat map is very important heat map is very important after covid if you know the temperature of a particular person you should install a heat enabled camera heat diagnosing camera when you install this and configure it on even vr and it will automatically show you the temperature of the people here if you know need to know more about the things i will definitely i will give you uh, more videos i will upload a more videos on heat camera okay now here you find log this is very important for example this option is very for example if somebody comes to your premises means you have a camera and offline and you need and you need solar rig and you need to check when it is goes offline and when you have a full hard disk all the records came here for example just just click on here you find all the time according to the that for example if you need to check just click on this and just select the time after select times you need system log and operation log alarm log whatever you want for example i need a system log click on all and click on search so in my case that no other option is recorded so in this way it will not show the record right now here it said that to so just change the record according to the just click on that i hope some now here so when you click on all whatever you start start like you stop like you start record is all the things for example who whatever changes you have made in your devices all the thing is you find here okay all the things you find here for example what i did with the device with this is the same software it will show you here here you find system log when you click on this here you find a system log okay again just to alarm log just click on that and wait for a few minutes if the if the alarm log if the alarm is there or you you can create an events it will show all the things here now here you find a device okay just click on search and it will take time here you find for example if you need to change you check the check the device what what going on in the device for example if somebody log in if the alarm goes out if the if the recording is full 
all the things here look here you find save config option here you find user logout here you find the video loss option okay in the video video loss occur at and at this particular time and start at this particular times it means that camera goes offline okay in this way you find here you find that video tampering problem okay the username is admin video tampering okay it means somebody checks somebody tamper your video so in this way you can check whosoever login whatever it did it, it for so in this way this is very very important function if you need to know who who apart from your username password or apart from your device whosoever login your device you can check from here okay so hope you understand very much again i said if you need if you have any confusion just just comment me i will definitely give you answer so in this way you i already show you a device option i already explain your device options so there is no need to discuss it again because yeah, in that case the video is too much lengthy here you find the device cfg option so it will take time to upload it again is depend on the software and network speeds so in my case just close the option because it is already shown in device device parameter event config you need to config again all the things like test device again you can change the channel particular if you note a video loss event can config a video alarm on video loss whatever it is blacklist danger whatever you need to config you just click you just config from here okay when the scene changes when the missing object for example if you draw a particular area in the camera and somebody touch that particular area or if somebody put up that that particular uh, thing from particular area and you need to configure that particular so you just click on video loss option and just click on alarm alarm sound so whenever this particular option is for example here you you find that missing object okay in missing object click on enable missing object and just alarm sound so whenever you you draw you just somebody pick particular device a particular thing from that particular area and the in that case alarm sound will pop up okay all the events are auto auto made here you do need no need to get even for example video loss video tamper motion detection audio normal mutual detection all the ipc offline trip wire intrusion all the thing fight detection if somebody fights the all these are all the ai feature so if you need to configure with alarm you, you you just you just that this is the main use of the camera i in my opinion nowadays so again hope you understand this option very much tour and task tour and task is for for example if you need to display a particular camera to switch for example if if you need to uh, just camera channel 3 and channel 4 to to this particular screen and again you made a di different different of screen and here that time you can the 3 or 5 or 6 camera and you need all the thing click just click on the save and click on the tour option so it will automatically rotate so if i do it it will too much time so that i that's i will show, i will explain you what, what this option can do you can do by your own if you find any problem you can comment me okay so again just close this task and here you find the pc and vr option so this is very Uh, good option if you need your device your pc to make this act like 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 an nvr so you just click on here okay so if you click on here it will it will make you pc as a nvr functioning okay so here you can allo click on allocate here you can so it will record all the things here also so i don't change anything because my space is very very less so all the things here you can change for example is is it just like a, is this pc and vr in if you if you ask me in a in a very short manner in a very short definition this pc and vr start local recording on your device on your pc is the simplest answer 
तो जस्ट क्लोज इट यू कैन मेक अकॉर्डिंग टू योर चॉइस यू कैन मेक चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू योर चॉइस नाउ द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज यूजर when you click on user here you you should create a new user you can assign the role to a particular user so this in this way simply you can create a user or give a role or to particular user so i hope you understand the software very well and again i i i will i will tell you if you need if you have any confusion just comment me i will give you answer thank you Have a nice day please like share subscribe